So I believe that in New York City, about uh, more than half of people use public transportation regularly, which is probably more akin to European cities. Cities like Los Angeles in the West developed a different time in U.S. history in a different way uh, when cars were available and more, um, more useful to, to people. And so um, or to the general masses, not just the, the wealthy who could afford cars. And so um, cities develop very differently in, um, you know, eastern cities tend to be more concentrated, less sprawl, um, and in part it's because of tr earliest transportation. So in order to move goods from place to place, we needed uh, waterways to do so, or railroad systems. And so on the east coast, that was the mode of um, production that, or moving goods that was useful as society developed out, you know, cities developed differently out west. And so on the East Coast, there's still a very high reliance on cars, especially compared to European cities or European countries, France in particular, has a very well-developed uh, public transportation infrastructure. And actually, um, their, some of their public transportation is self-sustaining. Their fast trains are self-sustaining, profit-making enterprises, which is unique, I, I would assume. But uh, Western cities developed differently, much more sprawled, much more of a need for public transportation, or excuse me, much more of a need for cars than the East Coast.